You know, guys, I, I just had an interesting exchange off camera over here. A moment ago, I had thrown a guess out there that it's going to be Jamal Hill versus Piera. Piera doesn't want to make 185 pounds anymore. His business with Adesanya is handled. Glover Teixeira has left 205. Off we go. I, I, but I don't want you to miss the point. And when we were off camera, I, I was having a discussion with the team over here because they missed the point. Okay, the, the point is not to get Piera and Jamal Hill together. That's going to be something you do in the meanwhile, much like giving getting Jamal Hill and Glover together. What you're attempting to do is to get Piera Prohaska. Now, I don't know how much further I, I, I want to go on that thought. I think that's very disrespectful to our new champion. I'm just sharing with you, that would be the larger play. And you know what? Let's give a look at Prohaska because we don't know a lot. They strip Prohaska. It's really important to you guys, at least according to the comment section, that he relinquished the belt. Really important. Now, that did not happen. That's the, the reason I don't tell the story th that way is because that is not what happened. But you guys really want it to be. Fair enough. What we do know is when the belt was no longer Prohaska's, it came on the heels of an MRI, of an x-ray, of a meeting with doctors regarding the shoulder of Prohaska. Do we all agree? Does everybody have the same facts here? Okay. That would tell us that that shoulder must be pretty damn bad. Sadly. But it, it would tell us that. We've had guys with some real injuries. I mean, we just had Francis Ngannou sit out 12 months because of his knee. We fully understood. We fully understood. Go get that knee better. I'm going back a little bit in time, but Dominic Cruz once missed three and a half years. I mean, it was the world's most unlucky. You guys remember that? He had a torn ACL. He comes back, tears the other one. Just when that the other one goes out. You guys remember when Dominic was just having this terrible luck, but that ended up being three and a half years. Now, I'm only sharing with you to get one image, one meeting with a doctor, and have them take the belt away because they thought it was going to be such a long time before he could return. That's a big clue for us. And I bring you that clue, and I'll bring you other evidence known as social media and pictures and videos of Prohaska this entire time. He's been very public this entire time. Never once was he in a sling. I mean, never once was there so much as a bag of ice on that shoulder. Forget about a cast. Forget about, ooh, we're headed out to Columbia and we're going to do this stem cells. Forget about anything. He looked good the whole time. He continued to interact with the audience the whole time. He was a tremendous sport the whole time. And as recently as 20 minutes after Jamal Hill became the world champion, Prohaska put out a piece. It was one of his best pieces. He's in the snow. And he's filming this. It's, it's all by himself, but there's snow. He's got like a light beard going. So as the snow's coming down, it's, it's hooking onto the beard. And he says, I'm coming for you. But it was an interesting piece. It was interesting because it was a threat by the former champion who never lost. I mean, he right, you, you don't need to play it that way. Congratulations on becoming the number one contender. We, we'll, get, we'll get this figured out soon. Would have been enough because for sure Prohaska returns to a world title fight. For sure. He doesn't need to lobby and fight for it. Now, I don't want to give him a hard time. I really did like what he did. I sincerely did think it was one of his better pieces. I thought it was on brand and with the gimmick of this samurai thing he's working. I just ha I can't help but notice. There's no sling. A shoulder so bad that they took a belt off a guy. They moved on with it. They're not even discussing him. That doesn't require a neoprene sleeve. That doesn't require a little icy hot. That doesn't require a little massage therapy. There's nothing on that shoulder. I mean, I got to tell you, this is a little bit weird. It really is a little bit weird. We, we, we're told that a guy who was drug tested a record amount by USADA 27 times over a 30-day period. 
all of a sudden pulls up lame with a shoulder injury that does not require so much as a Band-Aid. Now, I don't have a point here, by the way, guys. This is just an observation. I'm actually not going down Crazyville on conspiracy. I'm giving you an observation. All of these things happened. His shoulder was so bad, we must take the belt off him. We're going to say that he relinquished it, even though we stripped him. And for whatever reason, but that's a big deal to you guys. The shoulder turns out to be completely unattended. Come on, guys. I mean, at some point, it, it's your witness. A at some point, something is amiss. What do you suppose it is? And, and I just want I just want to share that with you because 205 is not in jeopardy. Like Pro Hoska is a very meaningful guy. He wasn't for me. I saw the skill. That man, that's a rough guy. Very interesting angles, can generate a lot of power. He's tough. He's willing. I mean, I this guy's a stud. Don't, I, didn't, I didn't question that. But what I just described, there's a whole bunch of those. I mean, that, that's an interchangeable mediocrity. Well, that isn't really true anymore. I'm finding this guy pretty interesting. I don't know what's going on with the shoulder thing. I don't know why I vacate versus relinquish. I don't know the worst shoulder ever, and it didn't so much as require some icy hot. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know the the, the most the most tests in USADA history. For, I, I don't know what to do with any of this. I can just tell you when he comes back, I'll be looking forward to it. And I'll tell you, when he comes back, he's a very polished fighter. And Jamal Hill it, it really has some street brawler to him. He really does. I don't know what I would tell you that Jamal Hill is great at. He's great at fighting. No question about that. But I don't know what I would tell you he's great at. It wouldn't just be boxing on his feet. And that's not Taekwondo. That's not karate. That's good, solid kickboxing. That That's, that's practice room kickboxing. That is not competitive. Surreal Gun, Israel Adesanya. Rosenstruck, and it's not competitive kickboxing, and that's practice room kickboxing. You might even call it practice room Muay Thai. But he holds up, he's durable, he's long, he's just big enough, he's just powerful enough, he's just ornery enough. I mean, there's there's a real brawler in there that's very intimidating. And I don't know what I would say about his groundwork. He, he is the least likely UFC champion in the modern era to enter Abu Dhabi and win it. But it's not to say he can't handle himself on the ground. I just I don't believe that he's he's a black belt. And I, I just share with you he's a, he's a very interesting guy. These are all compliments, by the way. These are all compliments to Jamal. The fact that he was a college basketball player in a JC, set a goal, and is now the champion of the world. These are compliments I'm giving him. But you bring him in, and you're juxtaposing him with his exact opposite. Prohaska is a master. He is a masterful striker. He is a masterful grappler. He is a masterful jujitsu practitioner. I mean, I'm just sharing with you, you've got a real juxtaposition there. And the idea of getting those guys together, I think it's very compelling. Not to mention, where do you go from there? You get those guys together, you, you, you bring an Alex Pierre into the weight class. I think the tool five's in very good hands. And that will just give you enough time for Blahovitz or Uncle I have to take one more swing at the ball of being interesting. I don't know that we can count on either one of them, but it will buy them a little time to attempt to do it. I think 205 pounds is in a very, very healthy position right now.